my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a simple and delicious recipe for buttermilk lemon bread. So let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need salt and baking powder, granulated sugar, buttermilk, unsalted butter, cake flour. If you want to use all-purpose flour, that is totally fine. You're going to need some eggs and also some lemon. And then we're gonna finish off this cake with a simple powdered sugar glaze. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is start off by making our lemon sugar. So the recipe calls for the zest of one lemon. Now the lemon that I have is really big. So I'm gonna use half of the lemon and I started peeling it already, but all you're gonna do is take a vegetable peeler and just gently run it over the lemon. Careful not to get the white part. You don't want that pith because it's very bitter. You just wanna get that yellow part of the lemon. And again, I'm just gonna take off half of this. Okay, so I've removed the lemon peel and now I'm just pouring in my granulated sugar and I'm just going to process this in my food processor um, until that lemon peel and sugar are well incorporated. So now I'm going to cream my butter, which by the way is softened and at room temperature. Cream my butter and then my lemon sugar together. Now if you have a stand mixer, that's fine. Um, but I'm just gonna be using a hand mixer with mine. And this is what the lemon sugar looks like, and it smells so good. I'm just gonna pour that in, and I'm just gonna mix this for about five minutes. Now I'm gonna incorporate my eggs one at a time. So I'm just gonna add an egg, beat it with the mixer, add another egg, etc. So I have whisked together all of my dry ingredients. So now I'm gonna alternate adding my dry ingredients with my buttermilk. Just a little at a time. Okay, so my batter is all mixed up. Next, you're gonna take a nine by five pan and I lightly greased it with butter and then I cut some parchment paper and put it, as you can see, just right across because when this um, bread is done, I wanna be able to lift out the bread very easily. So I'm gonna spread my batter evenly into the pan. And by the way, I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. But again, you're just gonna put your batter in there and make sure it's nice and smooth. All right, so I am going to pop this in the oven for about 50 to 55 minutes or until it's done. Keep an eye on it because everyone's oven is different and you don't want this to get overdone. Okay, so I just took the cake out of the oven and I ended up baking it for 45 minutes. I let it cool in the pan for about 10 minutes and then I took it out with the parchment paper and as you can see, I have it sitting on this cooling rack. I am going to let it cool completely and then I am going to show you how I make that lemon icing. Okay, so my cake has cooled completely and now it's time to make the lemon icing. So in my bowl, I have some powdered sugar and then I just have some fresh squeezed lemon juice. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of lemon juice at a time. You don't wanna overdo it because once you've added too much lemon juice, it's just too late. So I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time until I get the consistency that I am looking for. Okay, I got the texture that I'm looking for. So now all I'm gonna do is just drizzle this icing on top of the cake. Okay, so here is the cake. And after I iced the cake, I um, let the icing harden for about half an hour. And so I cut a slice so you all could see it. So here it is on the plate. And it is a really, tender, moist cake, and it is so good. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.